So welcome back to the Jim Green Footwear channel. I've had some really exciting videos over the last few weeks, but today we're gonna cover one of the more common questions that we get emailed about almost every day. And that is, what last do we offer and which one's gonna be best for your fit? So before we dive into our last selection, and for those new to the shoemaking process, let's go through what exactly is a last and how is it used in the shoemaking process? So shoe lasts are the fundamental element and the starting point in shoemaking and molding. The lasts are a general representation of our feet that determine the shoe fit, design, shape, and volume. The first shoe lasts were built by the Greeks and Romans back in 400 BC. Lasts are one of the first tools involved in the shoemaking process that is responsible for giving us a refined and fashionable appearance to the final product. Here at Jim Green, we're well known for making wide fitting boots and our footwear is either single or double lasted. Now a couple of weeks ago we did make a video on the difference between these two constructions. So in this video we'll put a link to that so you can uh, go and have a watch there and better understand the differences. So in the lasting process, the leather is pulled over the last and it can either be done by hand or machine. Here at Jim Green, we use the machine process, whereas there are still some uh, other boot making brands out there that use the hand, hand lasting process but these boots generally come with a higher price tag. So interesting fact is that the first patent for a shoe lasting machine was in 1883. Now, as you can imagine, this revolutionized the shoe making process as factories could now 10 times their pr daily production. So lasts were traditionally carved out of wood. Here in the office we have, um, these are more of a, a, a piece of decor than an actual last, but it gives you some kind of an idea whereas today lasts are made out of a plastic and with the revolution of 3D printing, this is one of the areas that technology is really changing the footwear industry. As you can imagine, carving out of wood takes many hours, if not days, whereas now you can get a much better fit much faster with a 3D printer. So now let's get on to the last that we offer and what we'll do is compare them and mention a few of the styles so that if you are a current Jim Green owner, you'll know exactly what last you are currently using, or if you're new to the brand, you'll now know which one will better fit your foot. So to start is our JG last. Now this last has been with us since day one and the very first Jim Greens were made on it and it has not changed. Now this last is misunderstood and a couple guys, when they try the boots on, they straight away don't really give it the chance and let the boots break in. And I'm gonna to explain to you why. So the two most well-known styles that are made on this last is our legendary Razorback and then our slip-on version of, this, of the lace-up boots, the Stockman. So this last is of a wide fit. As you can see here on the Razorback, it is of a 3E width and very rounded in the toe box. Now the toe box is where we get a couple of customers that try this boot on and they immediately say to us, try the boots on but I'm getting a pressure upwards from, uh, from the van. So we have looked into this and there's no doubt about it that when you put a pair of Razorbacks on or any boot that uses our JG last, there's first out a bit of pressure coming down from the toe box. Now what we've done is we have raised this last a couple millimeters played around with a few different versions, and at the end of the day, we've always gone back to our original design. And that is because, yes, in the beginning, there is a little bit of discomfort, but because this boot offers quite a wide fit and a rounded toe, once the boot breaks in, you don't actually feel that pressure from, uh, from the toe box. And what we were finding is when we raised this last by a couple of millimeters to adjust for that width, is that your feet end up sliding and slipping around and the fit in the long run actually isn't all that great for you. So to sum it up, if you have a really wide foot and you're wanting a more of a rounded toe box, then the JG last is for you. So now onto the newest last in our range, the ASHM. So what was happening is that lots of people were buying boots on our JG last and they were saying to us, listen, we want something a little bit more narrow but this one with a bit of a fashion touch to it and not such a rounded toe box. So we came out with this last and we've introduced two boots on, the, boots on this, the Bayabab and our Shuli, and we've been getting some really great feedback. 
And the best way to describe this last, which was actually in one of the reviews left by one of our customers, is that this is an almond shaped glass. So it still offers you that wide natural fit that the Jim Green brand comes with, but it does have a more of a pointy toe so that when you walk into the office or if you do have a slightly more narrow foot, it does add that little bit of extra snug. So now number three, our STC last. Now this might come as a surprise to most of you, but STC actually stands for steel toe cap. So this is the same last that we use on our steel toe cap boots. Now, when we were designing our first boots on this last, the African Ranger, we tried all our lasts on hand, but it turned out that this one worked perfectly. Now, for those of you that have the African Ranger, I'm sure you all agree that this is a great boot. And this boot comes in a 2E width, but as it has the, the steel toe cap last, there's quite a rounded finish over the top of the toes. So if you've got big toes or you're gonna be putting in a quite thick inserts, then this does accommodate for that. And with time and wear, uh, it gives you a great fit and feel, especially for when you're spending those 10 to 12 hour days on your feet. So now on to number four, and that is something we actually haven't released yet. So this is a bit of a teaser as to what is to come, but we have developed a zero drop last. Now what we did here is that we took our JG last and we have put it into a zero drop version. Now what does that mean? That means that there is zero toe spring. So when you compare these two lasts, you can see that the JG lifts up at the front, whereas the zero drop is completely flat all the way through. Now because this is uh, gonna be used for a barefoot construction boot, we actually made it even wider than the 3E width. Now we didn't go crazy so that your feet looked like clown shoes. We just added a one or two little millimeters on either side and all around the whole last to give your foot that natural barefoot feel. That's all I'm gonna say for now, but all I can say to you is that come around the middle, end of September, we will be releasing this boot and we're very excited because yeah, I've been wear testing one. If you watched our video where we went uh, hiking on uh, one of the most affordable safaris, you'll see that I put this boot to the test and it really is a great durable barefoot option. Number five and something not familiar to all of you is our TC last. And now this last is the most narrow and fashionable of all the lasts that we offer. That can only be found on our town and country boot. Now the reason we only make the town and country on this last is because this is a different construction altogether. So this is a Blake stitch construction and with different constructions, you need different lasts. Now we have tried in the past, some customers have asked us to make custom made Blake stitch construction boots where we pull a different upper on this last and then do the Blake stitch. But we'll put some pictures up here of one of the attempts that we did do and you'll see that it just doesn't quite all come together. Now onto the last, last that we offer, that is our MO. Now this is very similar story to the TC last, and that is because our MO is a different construction to the rest of our boot. Now our Monster is a waterproof boot, so there's actually a waterproof sock in here. So now this last is still a wide fit. It is very rounded and it is quite a, a little bit longer than, than many of the other lasts that we offer. Now the reason for this is because it needs to accommodate that waterproof sock that we put into our monster boot. Now we can't use this last on any of our other constructions because it is only made for our monster waterproof boot. So let's summarize from start to finish and hopefully you'll find the best last that is best for your foot. Our JG last, 3E width, quite snug around the toes, but with time and wear, it is gonna be a great fit once the leather stretches out. Our ASHM last, as we said, it is almond shaped, so it gives you that gym green width on the sides, but does have that slightly more pointed toe for, for office use. Our STC last, a 2E width and very rounded above the toes. Our zero drop last, no toe spring whatsoever, and of a 4E width, we then have our 
TC Last can only be used on our town and country and, and only found on this boot. And the same goes for our MO Last can only be found on the Monster Waterproof. So I hope this video was informative for current Jim Green users or potential Jim Green users. And as an interesting fact, 80% of you guys that watch our videos aren't subscribed to our channel. So if you could hit that like button or add a comment below on some further content you'd like us to make for you, every little bit goes a long way and we'll see you on our next episode.